Hello guys, it's Zuma, and welcome back to Frostpunk on the Edge. So guys, we're carrying on. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We've just done the coal mine, right? That's building right there. We've got some supplies about to come in. That's quite a lot of supplies. And yeah, day 18. This is called <laughs> Fuck New London. We have separated from our first place we started. Who are they? Where are they? The way up. There they are. New London. We broke away from them, and I believe we are trying to build up hot springs, aren't we? Uh, 30... I think we'll be able to do that, actually, soon when we get all these resources in. But yeah, guys, welcome back. If you are watching on Zuma Upload, don't forget to leave a like rating. It means the world to me. And yeah, let's get these resources. Hopefully we can uh, finish this in style. I think there's still a lot of gameplay left, which is good. Uh, 9 engineers, 22 workers. That's awesome, because we were just running out of workers. 137 wood rations. We're getting quite a lot of uh, raw food now, aren't we, from the hot springs. A lot of steel as well. Awesome. Right. So let's go to hot springs. Trade resources for food. Bring even more food in. Why not? We've got two steam cars. That we're actually keeping for ourselves. Because uh, we, yeah, we made one for the coal mine. Uh, I believe we made the public house as well. And we didn't put any people in it. So let's do that. There we go. Hope rises. Good stuff. Hope's just gone over discontent. Uh, cookhouse. Put a, oh, might as well put max people in there. Infirmary. Get that in. Medical post. Got 15 people ill. But we've got two going as well as the infirmary. So we'll leave that for a little bit. Alright. Start getting this coal. It looks like it's the temperature's going to drop even more. You're waiting. <laughs> Fucking you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Right. High pass. Is that where we're sending you? You're over there. Yeah, why not? High pass. There seems to be a significant gap in the mountain range blocking our way. We go over there. Awesome. And we need some technology. Right, what are we going for? Factory would be nice. Can, start make, can you make your own automatons? Yeah, it says you can. I didn't know in like the lore if they've even understood what an automaton is yet. Seems so early, right? We've done the upgrades for the warehouse which is good so the coal thumpers okay if we put some uh, resource gatherers on there huh that could work precious resource to the surface on my pile up to 560 gold per day so I'm gonna start getting I'm gonna start getting uh, loads of people now I think we've all the food coming in from the hot spring there's no reason why we can't house quite a large population uh, someone's saying you cannot make automatons in this play in this playthrough you can't make them no really a plant where automatons and other highly advanced devices can be produced why would it say that then in the oh man i hope so i hope you can coal mine optimization should we go straight for that steam sawmill faster gathering What's on the uh, third tier? Steam coal mine? Hey, should we just go fully into that? Efficient. Those burners were quite rubbish, right? But we're going to need them. Yeah, let's focus on heat. Because we've got the coal. Let's focus on the heat. So we'll go... We've got heaters there. The heat, heating one's already good. Uh, efficient burners. We'll do that. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this coal mine done. More stuff. Deep fracture. We stand on the edge of a long ice crevice. Why is that right at the top? Explore. Difficult obstacle. We've established that the crevice extends beyond the ice sheet deep into the rock. It could be the result of a tectonic movement, but rock might have cracked under the weight of ice. It's so deep that pieces of ice thrown in, into it vanish without any echo. It is also quite wide. It would not be easy to cross it. Damn. Alright, carry on. They've still got 527. New L London hasn't lost anyone since they started. How about that? Alright, come on. Let's get this done. It's night time so we can fast forward. Put uh, some workers in there. Alright. It seems like this is a little too cold. Is it inoperative? Let's get the heater on. Stand I think we're still going for the standard meals. We don't need to go on to soup just yet. We've got quite a lot of raw food. Let's keep this going. Hmm, where are they getting sick from? 
Because they're minus 40, no heating. Very cold. People are w I think that's what it's from. People working in the warehouse. They're very, very cold. And we've just got a boatload of uh, steel, haven't we? So, yeah, 113. So we might work on getting some more steam cars. Uh, what's up with this now? Inoperative. I'll have to switch in resources. That's fine. I think that's maybe where everyone was getting sick from. It's chilly in there as well. Sawmill. That's got to be uh, done soon. 188 wood. Get a move on, chaps! Still plenty of work to do. There is indeed. Ah, a book of laws. We could decide our own fate now. Uh, so the public house could go to house of pleasure. Uh, prostitutes can be employed in the public house to further lower discontent, but hope will fall slightly on moonshine. Uh, every meal slightly lowers discontent, which is good. Let's do that. Get that out of the way. People get some alcohol every day to cheer them up. All right. What's our f uh, coal consumption? Let's have a look. We're actually gaining a bit per day. Well, how about that? Man, just because you don't have a steam generator, <laughs> it makes all the difference. Alright, where are we going? That's okay. You're going to bring some more stuff in soon. Nice. Explore steel. The lost rover. The frozen corpse of the driver is still inside. Such rovers were used to scout ahead of expeditions but never alone. It's too dangerous to travel in frostland in such small craft. This means that some convoyers passed here a long time ago, probably in a hurry. Otherwise, they'd have taken the body to bury it. Alright, a little bit of steel. I will take it. Carry on to the trailer wreck. Good stuff. Uh, everything's good here. Just, yeah, why come the infirmary isn't... It's full. I wonder is it worth making... We've got this, another steam car. Here's another one, right? To make the uh, infirmary. Yeah, one steam car. I wonder if I should just make two. And get rid of the medical purse. Could be an option. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of one of the medical purse. How's this doing? Too sick. It's absentees. It's got heating on. It's going to drop even further. Huh. All good. There we go. Efficient burners. All right. Let's go for improved heaters as well. Just a little bit worried about this minus 50 that we're going to get. I know it's only for a day. But still, right, let's get that infirmary down. The second one. It's actually not too bad. Shall I put it there? Yeah, let's go for that. I've got to get out of my head that it's all about staying close to the outer rim. This doesn't mean anything anymore. There's no steam, um, no generator there to heat everybody. And we need to put some resource uh, Depots down. Uh, let's create a line out here. Sawmills still gathering a little bit. That resource depot. There we go. Let's put that on wood. Look at our food now. Let's go. Search the frostland for other settlements. Wait for New London's response. Uh, so hopefully, we get enough people. I don't know what. Maybe if we need to get to a certain population, then they won't mess with us. Obviously, we're not going to get to as too many as them, are we? They've like got 527. I've already left some people behind. You know what? I've just given them something. I need to make sure I keep on requesting stuff from these guys. Favor is high, and I'm just I keep on giving them stuff all the time. So let's communicate. Um, how can we help you? We have some problems. Five workers will be sent. Be exhausted. 60 raw food. Should we stock up? <laughs> Fucking you, London. Greetings! <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah, you know what? I'll Give me all your food. I'll take it. My storages are depleted. 
<laughs> and uh, I'm going to take some people out of this. I'm going to store the food for now. Storing for winter. Why not? Let's go. Trailer wreck. A heavy freight trailer stuck in an ice crevice. Such vehicles used to be hauled by land. Dreadnoughts. Explore. Memory of giants. Looking at the massive bulk of the trailer, we can't help but marvel at the power of the land dreadnoughts which roamed Frostland before the great storm, bringing scores of people north. Where was this convoy headed? Alas, we won't find out. The storm has erased all their traces. Of the 26 steel, though, Chief. Oh, is that can't be it. There's nowhere else for you to go. Is that it? Winter ruins? I don't think you've got much stuff, really. Yes, okay. Where else are you going to go, huh? Two days to go there. You're nearly at the high pass. Alright, so let's take off... Actually, I can put the five people in... Five engineers in there. Oh, there's only three sick now. Oh, what? <laughs> that means I can remove some of these medical posts later and put some housing down. In fact, talking about housing, I think we might be ready to go for the bunkhouses. Unless we just skip the bunkhouses, get mechanical calculators and go straight for housing. That wouldn't be too bad. Just thinking is anything else to get. What's our wood situation going to be like? We need to find a community that can give me resources because when our, when this wood here goes out, what have we got? It's going to last a bit, but I don't know how long this playthrough is going to last. I'm a bit worried. It's a finite resource. Right, so let's keep going. I think we might do mechanical calculators next. That's it. Get cured. Come on. Get in there. Anyone where they shouldn't be? High pass. As we had hoped, we found a pass leading safely to the other side. There's also a shelter place here where we could rest for a while. Okay. Apparently not only we found this pass to be convenient way over the mountains, uh, bonfire remains other evidence attest to the people camped here. However, they all seem old. Carry on. Nothing to see here. Cool, coolia? Cooler of the dead. Fair enough. We'll see what that is. I need some. I'm going to start asking for people now. <laughs> I'm going to see what. Let's see what they say. Oh, you can't. Can I communicate? No. Favor low. Yeah. No oh, shit. They are neutral with me. All right. So we've all exhausted all our favor. Pumps renovation. So this is going to get us back up there. Might as well use a steam core for something. With a new engine and a bit of work, we can raise the output of pumps heating the crops. This would allow the locals to expand food production. Hot springs will give us 30 raw food in return. As well as the food that's already coming towards us, right? Outgoing, not incoming. 60 food. Did I already get there? That's the 60. Oh, no. I think we have to wait a little bit for our... There we go. It's just popped in then. Right, 90 food coming in. Good stuff. Yes, I might as well stack the raw food and then wait to see if I need to turn it into soup or not. If we're fine at the minute. So everyone, everyone was just fine. Everyone was healed. And then we just got 15 sick. But I think that might be okay. If we can advance heaters. Get these advanced heaters going. Right, I'm really worried now about the coal. So I think we might have to do an extended shift. Let's do that. Let's get the places nice and warm. Patrons, no citizens. Is it an operative? Too chilly. Horses are all cold. Cookhouse we're not using yet. I don't think we're using any of these medical posts. Using any of them? No. Okay, so that it. They don't need to be done. Uh, I've got two resource depots just in case I need to do anything there. The tents. Oh, they're freezing. My people are freezing. How are we doing over here? Wooden supports. Yeah, even with the extra heater. I know it's only for a day, but damn. Alright, we're going to get a lot of sick, I think. Alright. 
Let's carry on. Refusal to work? A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work. He said that he's already worn out and he doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. We've only lost one person. We only lost Christopher Freezer, didn't we? Right? This man won't work for 24 hours. Discontent will rise slightly. Discontent will rise. Uh, get back to work, buddy. I don't know. If I let one guy go, right? What's next? Right, so it looks like we're battling. We're still, we're still good. We're still in the green. On the coal. I, I want the f coal thumper as well. Imp oh, we didn't get the improved heaters. I thought we... Alright, so now we've got the improved heaters. Oh, that's fine then. I was a little bit worried, so... Yeah, there we go. I thought it was a bit strange how it was still really, really cold. Alright. What do we go for? Get 50 steel and go for mechanical calculators. Coal mining op optimization as well. 10% more efficient. Coal thumper. Do I even have like... You need quite a lot of people for the coal thumper. Because you need people to gather the resource as well as work in it as well. Alright, mechanical calculators. Let, can we get to 50 steel? Uh, let's put the wooden supports on. It's actually changed to steel. I wonder how close we was to getting that steam car. There we go. Be more efficient. We need 50. People are becoming gravely ill. There we go, we got it. Mechanical calculators. There we go. Upgrade into the next one. Nice. Uh, oh, the broke steel as well. As we get closer, it turns out these are not rocks, but huge rusted cages. There are frozen bodies inside, and some lie around the cages as well. These people were killed some time ago. Their frozen bodies have been partially scavenged by animals. They lie scattered without any resemblance of order or respect. No respect for masters. If we had any doubts whether the bodies were thrown deliberately, it's a sign at the entrance. The gully dispels. Uh, Okay, take 26 steel, that's fine. Go to the frozen sea. I oh know you're cold. Very cold. I think we might be able to weather this out though. So, if, in fact, if you're not in there, I'll take you off and get that to max capacity. And turn that heater off. Turn that heater off. And take the engineers out of there. Hot springs! Uh, this is urgent. We need your immediate assistance. A geyser has erupted, causing damage to the crops and many injuries among both ours and your people. The burn victims need advanced treatment to survive. We don't have the proper technology and we ask ourselves if we should have. We never needed it before your arrival. I thought there was on about all these herbal teas and crap. We need to send the victims to you for treatment, although it's dangerous due to the severity of the burns and distance. We await your answer. Uh, we'll send 30 wood, 20 steel, and one steam car. Hot Springs will be displeased. 10 gravely ill will be sent. Hot Springs will... Oh, I'll take those 10. I'll take the 10. They've got to get here first, right? Yeah. And by time... Oh, oh, yeah, I've got the space. That went down really good. Okay. Let's go. Alright, everything... Uh, although everyone's freezing, it's still, still looking okay. Uh, organ transplants, I think people get heat, um, treated a lot quicker. The sick recover fast. That might be nice, we've got those ten people in. We can uh, heal them and let them go. Care house, the gravely ill. So we haven't got any amputees yet. Right? Yeah. Overcrowding. Our medical facilities should be fully utilized even if we So the capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Is that in the infirmary as well? If that's true, yeah. That is I think it's the infirmaries as well. So is that twenty people now? Yes. Forty people we can house. That is awesome. Let's go. So we've been getting coal for the last twenty four hours now. 
We've been getting a lot of steel as well because we added the wooden supports. 24, 25. Oh, and then we're going to get 10 more. So we're going to be at the max capacity soon. 38. As well as... I need to house them. Eight homeless people. Okay. Never mind. Time to get rid of the medical post. Or put a house there. Well, a tent. Frozen sea. This must have been a seashore before the sea froze during a storm. The sight is truly amazing. We can see some ship rising above the waves on the horizon. Ghost ship, okay. Ghost ship, let's go to the shipwreck camp. You're far from home now. You're on the other side of this mountain. What the? Right, so our favour with hot springs is... Oh, it's gone to average, okay. I wonder if we can... 30 raw... 50 wood? How about that? Fifty wood will be sent. I'm gonna take that. How much have we got left on the sawmill? Thirty-seven. All right, let's get let's get this sawmill for the f uh, just the future one when it goes down. There we go. Uh, that'll do. Get rid of that soon. And the homeless. Oh, that's not been removed yet. Hot springs. Safe route to hot springs can be built. This would benefit everyone. Let's go. We've heard that the burn victims have arrived to your settlement after a long and exhausting journey. We are horrified to learn that almost half of them died on the way and the rest is in critical state. Please help them immediately or they will die too. Establishing a safe and fast connection between our settlements would help prevent such tragedies in the future. Our help might, uh, our people might distrust technology, but we can see its uses. Hey, see, we didn't force them; we just let them come around, and I think I think we're getting there. We offer you steady food shipments every two days if you build a safe route to us. Well, yeah, it benefits everyone. Oh, there's no option to, but I guess there's no downside to that. So why wouldn't you do that? I guess. Oh. Five of our people died. Oh, is it... Was it the homeless people? Five died from the lack of treatment. Uh, everybody was in the... F two infirmaries. I could house 40 people. Alright. Rip, Ginny, Helen, Jesse, Obadiah, and Flora... Alright, hopefully I can uh, put you in my cold pit and we'll eat you later, spread you as fertilizer. <laughs> Alright, you're joining Christopher Freezer. Body count one. What the? We can hold 40 people. What the hell's going on? That's weird. Why haven't they got rid of that yet? There we go. Maybe a little too late and then on... Oh, that's a storage thing there. Tent, tent. Put them two as tents and then we'll put the fight in an arena there if I get rid of that. Alright, not too bad. While the safe route is being established, we need to reduce the risk of the next eruption. Your engineers want to flood the cave to stabilize the flow. This shall stop eruptions and might give us bigger crops, but would also destroy the cave moss we are using as a mild sedative. We strongly prefer to drill a borehole to lower the pressure. Eruptions will still happen from time to time, but such is the nature of this place. Hot springs will be displeased. Raw food shipments will rise by 10. Overflow redirection will be unlocked. Hot springs will be pleased. Borehole will be unlocked. Alright, let's flood the caves. Give me extra stuff. Yeah, I don't want the eruptions again. It's going to send more people to me. 
I'd rather keep them self-sufficient and go in for as long as possible. Right, that road's been built. Nobody working on... Waiting for workers? Oh, there we go. What the hell happened then? Alright, we're still getting steel. We've got two steam cars. Everything's going well. Mechanical calculator is researched. Alright, I'm thinking we just upgrade our coal operation. Wouldn't be too bad. Radiator extensions, improved blowers. Burn less coal using the heaters as well. Alright. I think we should just go, yeah, we'll go for bunkhouse and then go for houses. That's why we did that, right? Shipwreck camp. Oh, cool. No kings, only men. Convicts were widely used on Frostland to build generators. Deceived by false promises of amnesty and, and return home, most of them were worked to death, carried on prison ships from one construction site to another. Some of them have rebelled, and those we met here were successful. They killed their guards, took over the ship, and set up their own settlement away from London's power. The hull of the ship, heated by steam boilers, protected them from the great storm. Hearing that we too have rebelled against our masters, they seem to warm up to us. Shipwreck camp? Oh, the devil are you? Send a construction team to build up a trading post. We reached a settlement build around, build around the shipwreck. We guessed that before the arrival of Frost, there must have been a sea here. The settlement is populous, but its inhabitants meet us with distrust, even hostility. Hey, man, if they're hostile, hopefully I can um, kind of hopefully be friends with them, get them to be hostile against New London. Can I use them? Shipwreck camp. All right, uh, what is it to make another transport? We have enough stuff to do it. Alright, let's send the construction team over to Shipwreck Camp. You're waiting. You can go over to the ghost ship. There we go. We've got 50 wood coming in. Oh, I switched everything around here. There we go. Ten people gone. We need more people, right? I can house them now. Look, we've got the food. 33 still ill. Uh, Book of Laws. We'll do the uh, organ transplants maybe next. People will heal quicker. Hope rises. Oh, everyone got healed. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Let's go. So I said I was going to make uh, a fighting arena here, right? Oh, that's perfect. Look how they overlap. Do we need this base heating on now? I don't think we do. <laughs> they are toasty in there. Keep. Uh, is, that, is that really on? <laughs> Wood, raw food, and steel at Winterhome Ruins. Monument of Ignorance. Those who managed to flee left long ago, and we have no idea what happened to them, apart from some of the evacuated children who found shelter in New London. Winterhome has become a monument to the human ignorance and hubris, and its destruction is being completed by nature. The great storm covered the ruins with snow and ice. Only the regular pattern of mounds and depressions reminds us that this white shroud covers the work of human hands thanks <laughs> I guess ah should we okay yeah so we need to help actually help I thought it was just going to do it on its own <laughs> we need to help with the uh, the easy, r easy route alright we'll keep on steel for a long time then how much of my resources have you got You've got 80 steel, 26 between you. Destroyed automaton! Something big and rusty sticks out from under the ice. Let's go. 
My first automaton. I need to send loads of construction teams there. Alright, I get them back, right? 